those happy folks getting blasted in the air on the Shore Shot Shot Tower. We welcome you to the Casino Pier. Casino Pier is on the Jersey Shore in Seaside Heights, New Jersey. This uh, beer bear also welcomes you. Yes. I'm, I believe he used to welcome you to an A&W. Yes, now he welcomes he you like to that. the Casino Pier. <laughs> They've got things like this all over the park. In this video today, we're just going to take a walk around the park here. Uh, the most adorable ride right away here is the Mermaid Parade. This little kid's uh, log flume with a nautical theme. Just adorable. It's pretty well themed too. Yeah. You got swings, you got a tilt-a-whirl, you got a big old Ferris wheel. Great views from it. Yeah. You got the Crazy Cab spinning ride made by SBF Visa. A uh, surf themed funhouse. And yep, there's um there's no shortage of shenanigans to take your photo with. Like this! An alligator wearing a hat of best and carrying a bindle. Why not? Why not indeed? Or Elvis! I I don't I know. How his microphone's missing? Yes, it looks like he's wearing like like holding like the uh, inanimate plutonian rod from the Simpsons or something. Yeah. You got bumper cars. Right ahead of us is Hindrus, which is the park's main roller coaster. Um, it's a Gerslauer Eurofighter and it's awesome. The best part about it is the views you get from it because the ocean is right there. This is at the edge of the pier, so the beach is right on the other side. It's a really good ride. It's short though. It is very short. It is a $10 roughly while we're here Yeah. for uh, a ride. If you come on some weekdays during the afternoon, you can get a wristband. Uh, me and Molly happen to stumble into this. We're here on a Wednesday and we were here before seven. It was buy one, get one free wristband. So we got two wristbands for $28. Yes, so we rode this ride twice. Yeah. Adorable kids a little boat ride. Now let's take in a viewing of uh, watching Hydrus do its thing. So you see there that people are waiting to go up the elevator lift. They are now going up the elevator lift. It's at 90 degree lift. Yeah. The drop is beyond vertical. turnaround another turnaround this might be my favorite part of the ride besides the first half a big slow inversion into the brakes I love the views that you get from it right after right before you drop yeah absolutely then you do have some other cool stuff as well you got dizzy dragons this corner over here gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of kids rides yeah classic kids rides and you could see the uh, the sky ride going That'll take you kind of from one end of the pier to the other. It is not included with your wristband. The Skyride is $5 one way or $8 both ways. Which we've gone to a lot of piers and this is the only one with a Skyride. A Skyride, yeah. yeah. There's a little kid's whip ride, a flying Dumbo ride, and another one, if the mermaid ride isn't the most adorable ride in the park, it might be this one. This one is very, very cute. Oh, do we have another guy? Uh, it's a friendly rabbit. A lumberjack rabbit? I don't know. He, he does kind of look like Bray Rabbit a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And I think our plan, we're going to take the sky ride after we get done with this video. We're going to take it from one end to the other while looking at all the snack options on that side and figure out what kind of snacks we want to get here yep, that's exactly while we're here at Seaside Heights. We got a plan. I also love the sign. Yeah. It, the dragon? Yeah, it looks really, really good for what is the, the biggest ride at the park. And there are the Dizzy Dragons doing their dizzying. I do feel like this, this pier, at least when we visited, is a bit more economical than some of the other ones. Yes. Especially uh, like, hey guys, come on a Wednesday, come in the afternoon. That deal is really good. If you're here with kids. It might not be every weekday. Yeah. They do have a big old super slide right by the ocean. The, those are always a good time and more. This might be the most bizarre character in the park. A, uh, I believe you would classify him as a hobo? Yeah, I'm not sure. 
That is the odd one. Yep. Everyone else is like animals. Yeah. Um, also, a very solid fiberglass figure over here. <laughs> a jacked chicken, chicken drinking a Coca-Cola. Yep. That, that's fabulous. Another view of the big old Ferris wheel. A happy monkey. As we make our way this way, we can uh, hear the sounds of 50 Cent bringing us back 20 years. <laughs> and uh, the Pier Pub. Yeah. Pier Pub. They have their own beer. Which we're currently drinking. Yeah. It is uh, by Heavy Reel Brewing. And it's the uh, like the Boardwalk Ale or something like that. It's uh, made for the park by a local brewery. Mm -hmm. A very nice, easy drinking light beer. And if you wanted to, you could drink the Boardwalk Ale with your pals. The Blues Brothers. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Um, this is actually one of the cooler rides at the park. Centrifuge, which is in this building here, which also doubles as a pier pub. It is an indoor scrambler with lights and sound. Um, it was pretty disorienting when we rode, but uh, it was good. Like I love any flat ride when you put it inside like that. Um, but it's long. Like we were on the scrambler for the entire length for them to play the uh, Sia Chandelier song. Mm -hmm. Over here is interesting because you have two kids rides interwoven with each other. That one going there is Hot Tamales. And around the outside is the orange one, Zola Loca. Sadly, that one's been closed. I know, and that, that would be a new roller coaster for me, so I, I'm, I don't get to ride it. I know. You can see the Music Express, a staple of Boardwalk Pier Park. As we make our way over here, pass uh, like knock off Mighty Mouse. And then um, I'm sad this is currently closed. I wouldn't have done it, but I would have loved to see people. They have like the most scenic location for a sky coaster. Like you get driven, held up up there and you'll be looking like a hundred feet out, dangling towards the ocean. Where there's surfers right now. Yeah. And there is Moby Dick. Um, the Zola Loca is also, it's half spinning this way, and half the cars are the hamster wheels that spin that way. Probably their, uh, their craziest upside down ride is Superstorm here. Uh, big old Paul Bunyan type dude. And then you get Pirate's Hideaway. It's a hideaway. Yeah, it's a, a weird little coaster. The cars are amazing. Like, you're in this little pirate ship. Like, that's awesome. You got a, a spiral lift. The ride is pretty jank. And you're like, oh man, what's in the building? What's in the shed? M Molly, what was in the shed? Nothing was in the shed. Nothing is in the shed. It is just a shed. <laughs> no lights, no lights. No. Got the disco going, the super storm going. And obviously it's a pier, so it's not gonna be an overly large pier. Um, I do like what they how they use their space though. Like there is a a rooftop mini golf that's on top of some like food and game areas. Yeah. Like that is pretty fun. We've got the disco going, a little kid's car ride, skyscraper, which is $22. And that's uh that's very tall. Very tall indeed. That one also not on the wristbands. And there go the cars. Even the Scooby Doo car. The motorcycles are cool. They pop little wheelies. Yeah, that's cool. That, they that is cool. And as you would think, there's plenty of midway games as well, as you are on a boardwalk pier. Um, if you do want to go on any of the rides without a wristband, one credit is one dollar, and prices range between like two dollars for some rides and ten dollars for Hydrus, up to like twenty-two for the skyscraper. And I believe that will do it for our tour here. Get some more wonderful fiberglass guys. Thank you very much for watching this short video all about Casino Pier. I've enjoyed my visit. Now it's time to finish this beer and go on that sky ride.